how did I get here? I often wonder when I'm looking at these incredible sunsets how on earth I managed to get here. But it's pretty easy. I jump in my car, race down to the rear of Moza, jump on a board, and I'm in. But how do you get here? Well, if you're not in Portugal, just hop on a plane and fly directly into Faro Airport. And we're based in Faro Marina, which is a stone's throw away from the airport. Our base is in the protected calm waters of the Faro Marina. And just outside is the incredible 60 kilometer long wonderland of the Rio Formosa wetland. Here are a few quick facts for you. It stretches 55 kilometers from the west all the way to the east in Tavira, 170 square kilometers, and it comprises five islands and two major peninsulas. This area that you're looking at right now is just outside Faro, where you get fast flowing tide, but it's a very protected area for stand up paddling, which is great. It was formed in 1987 and comprises five major islands and two peninsulas. Paddling through these little channels here, it's great because it's almost like little rivers all over the place. And you can see fish and all kinds of interesting little bits and pieces. So. Uh, This is really special. What does one do in the Rio Formosa? Well, naturally you're going to go stand up paddling. That's what we do. We take stand up paddling lessons in Faro Marina and we offer tours to paddle all around through the incredible areas of the Rio Formosa. Now these five islands from the west, it starts off with the major peninsula, Ankao. So the, ma the first major island is Barreta Island, which is also known as Ilha Deserta. The second major island, Kulatra Island, which houses the Santa Maria Lighthouse. The third major island is Armona, uh, also comprising Fuzeta. The fourth, Tavira Island, which is probably one of the largest. And the fifth island is Cabanaj Island, more towards the east. And the last peninsula on the eastern side is the Casella Peninsula. There are tons of birds to see in the Rio Formosa, as many of them stop off over on their migration routes and to feed up before setting off across the Atlantic Ocean down towards Africa. But one bird of particular is called the purple swamp hen, and this is unusual because it was uh, almost extinct in the early 2000s. Actually, in 2002, there were only 50 to 60 breeding pairs in the whole of Portugal. It's now on the return, thanks to the Rio Formosa, creating a much better habitat for it. But not only are there birds, there's a, the, one of the largest populations in the world of seahorses. Now, who would have thought? So come on a 90 minute learn to sup lesson based in the Faro Marina, or come for a tour where we'll take you out into paddling into the Rio Formosa, have a little sundowner, and then paddle back. We're really looking forward to seeing you in the Rio Formosa.